welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'm just going to talk a little bit about who I am. So my name is Siobhan and obviously because you found the YouTube channel, it's called Fresh Handmade Mama. I am a mama to our little girl Ava who is coming up 17 months very soon and a little bit too quickly if I'm honest. I'm also married to my husband Guy who is serving as a Royal Marine and he's actually based down in Devon so from Monday to Friday he's actually not home and quite a lot of the weekends he works away as well so I pretty much fly solo most of the time with Ava. I also work for Lush. Lush's slogan is fresh handmade cosmetics so with my channel I've kind of done a little bit of a twist on that with fresh handmade mama so my channel is a whole mix of things it's mum life toddler life now I talk about what I've learned in the past 17 months I also talk a little bit about military family life how it works with Guy being away from home a lot of the time I talk a lot about cosmetics and what I have found useful in the past and what I am using now for both myself and Ava obviously a little bit of Lush in there and a few of the cosmetic brands that we find really good too so Guy arrived home late on Wednesday so that meant we had a daddy free household for pretty much 10 days but daddy is home so we decided to venture off to the Yorkshire Moors again this time we visited a gorgeous place called Falling Foss which is just on the outskirts of Whitby so this is how our day went <laughs> Foss. It is raining, typical Yorkshire weather, but we are here and we have just got all suited and booted, ready to rock and roll. And the dog is itching to get off the lead as usual. So car park is back there and this is the walk down. So the walk here at Falling Foss goes alongside the stream, as you can see, it's behind me. There is a tea garden here as well, which we will be visiting later on, but to start off with, we're going to be doing kind of like a, a circuit walk with the dog so she can run her legs off a little bit and then uh, she'll be a little bit calmer and less whiny. just been playing with this camera that I've got so this camera that I'm filming on is the Canon G7X Mark II it's pretty popular in the vlogging world but it's actually a pretty nifty photography camera as well and I've just been doing some slow shutter speed pictures of the water and I've never done that before so I'm really excited and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they're going to turn out So there's two different ways that you can do this route. You can start down at the Little Beck side and start from the tea rooms and work your way up along one side of the stream then come back round and as you come to the top of the walk you come to a place called Maybeck which is where we've just passed and we're just making our way up and over the hills and then it comes back round on the other side and then down by the tea rooms again. There's actually a car park at Maybeck as well where you can park the car and you can do the circuit the other way around. So you've got two different options. It's a real nice balance this walk of stream, water, forest, greenery and then um, some beautiful scenes behind me as well. She's really tired, she only had like half an hour's sleep in the car, so hopefully she'll um, sleep on the way. But are oh, you waving now? I'm not I'm not showing you the camera now. You're not facing the camera. Look, 
Say hi. Say hi, ya. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Um, just to let you guys know, if you are planning on coming here with children, and especially young ones, it's not really pram friendly. The only part that is pram friendly is this walkway here. But after that, it's pretty much tree roots and big puddles. So you want to be looking at investing in a carrier of some kind. It would be ideal. So we've just dropped the dog off in the car because um, we wanted to come to the tea gardens without her whining at us. So she's had a good walk and she's now getting warm in the car. And we've come to Falling Foss Tea Garden. You've got the house over there which actually has like a gift shop with all sorts of different sort of handmade products in there then it's all pretty much outdoors so you've got all this little bit down here Ava struggling to get off the caterpillar like little toad stores and we've got little bugs over here and it all runs alongside the actual stream itself it's just beautiful Ava absolutely loves it here say hi Ava <laughs> she just loves exploring in this place and because it's a weekday and it's drizzly and a little bit grey outside it's really quiet so we've got the place to ourselves, it's awesome. Daddy's had two scones. <laughs> Naughty, won't be eating for the rest of the week. <laughs> just had a lovely time at the tea gardens the owners there are just so nice and they gave us lots of advice on how to actually get down to the waterfall itself so that is where we are going now so classically we are uh, listen to what the bloke at the tea room said to us which way to go and we pretty much went well try to go the opposite way so the harder way which is like a really steep version down so we've climbed back up and now we're going this way along the path and then hopefully down and then walking along the river just so beautiful here this is going up on my list of favorite places in Yorkshire for definite it's just so gorgeous and green and the sound of the birds and the water is just it's almost a little bit kind of make-believe like a fairyland of some sort kids are gonna love coming here definitely getting closer. I have just taken the most gorgeous picture of this little waterfall here so I'm so excited to see the actual big thing for real. So we have just walked through the world's amount of mud. 
to get here. It's still on the last bit. But we've made it! Look how lovely it is! So we're just doing the walk back from the waterfall now and um, come through the world's amount of mud. So a word of warning, anybody who wants to do this part of the walk is gonna need some serious footwear. Luckily, we've got some nice military style Gore-Tex boots. So we've managed to pretty much smother our feet in mud and we've not felt a thing. We've also waded across rivers practically and uh, our feet are still dry. about to do our drive home it turns out we did five miles? five miles five miles so it felt like longer but it was actually only five so yeah we're gonna drive home now and get this one fed thanks for watching so that's it guys thank you for visiting my channel if you are enjoying my vlogs make sure that you give me a little thumbs up and a cheeky subscribe as well is always appreciated Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I will see you again next week.